We can improve on ether channels by making them dynamic. What makes them dynamic? They exchange messages between the two devices to agree on whether an ether channel should exist here or not. Let's consider why we might want this. Imagine two switches are connected with an ether channel. But now someone comes along and moves one of the links to a different device. Now this isn't valid. Ether channels are intended to be between two devices only. If this were configured as a manual ether channel, our switch would continue forwarding traffic over the link, assuming that the other end is also correctly configured. This would result in traffic being dropped. However, if it's dynamic, the switches continually share messages with each other. If these are disrupted in some way, the switch will know there's a problem and will shut down the miscabled link. So dynamic is good. In fact, I recommend it wherever it's supported. Cisco support two types of dynamic ether channel. What I mean is, there are two different protocols that we can use to exchange messages over the ether channel. These are called LACP and PAGP. PAGP is an old Cisco only protocol. It's rarely used anymore, so we're not going to look at it in any detail at all. Instead, we're going to focus on LACP. LACP was originally part of the 802.3 AD standard. It was then moved into the 802.3 AX standard. This makes it vendor neutral, so we can connect other vendors switches to our Cisco switches if we want to. LACP is used to check that both sides are suitable to form an ether channel. This means there are certain parameters that need to match on the physical interfaces for the ether channel to form. These include the speed and duplex, access mode or trunk mode, the VLANs allowed on the interface, the native VLAN if it's a trunk port, and spanning tree settings. Let me show you another reason why we want to use LACP on our ether channels. Sometimes we have a passive device between our switches, perhaps a media converter that converts fiber links to copper links. If the media converter fails, the switch links may appear to stay up. The switches are blissfully unaware that there's a problem. They will continue sending traffic over the failed link, or rather trying to, which results in traffic loss. However, remember that LACP regularly sends messages between our switches. If there's a fault in the media converters or the cables between them, then the LACP messages won't get through. When these messages go missing, the switches will know that there's a problem and can take an action such as alerting you or shutting down the faulty link, allowing regular traffic to flow over the good link. LACP itself can be either in active or passive mode. An interface in active mode will actively start sending LACP messages when the interface comes online. An interface in passive mode will only send LACP messages if another device starts sending them first. So at least one of the two switches needs to be in active mode for an ether channel to form dynamically. Please note, a manual ether channel does not send or receive LACP messages at all. Okay, let's see how that's configured. We configure the type when we add physical interfaces into the port channel. So let's go back and change interface gig 00, 0 and gig 01. We previously configured this with mode on, which is a manual ether channel. We'll now remove that configuration. Notice that this takes the logical interface down. For the ether channel to be up, at least one of the member interfaces must also be up. It currently has no member interfaces, so it's down. Now to configure LACP. There's a few modes we can select from. We're going to configure this with mode active. Of course, that brings the ether channel back up. Now that's done, we can use show ether channel summary to confirm our results. I recommend that you use LACP active mode wherever possible. However, you will find occasions when you want to configure a lag or an ether channel to a device that doesn't support LACP. In this case, a manual ether channel is your only option. I've thrown a couple of tricky questions in this time. You may find question four to be particularly tricky. <laughs> 